All right, I found this cool new app called Incarsa app. And what this app allows you to do, it allows you to lock your apps when you have them open. Now, say if you pass your iPad off to someone showing maybe a particular app, you just want them to see that app. You don't want them to press the home button and access other apps on your thing. Or maybe if you have a kid watching Netflix and you don't want them to exit out of Netflix and go off into some other apps or something they just shouldn't even be in. So, for example, let me go ahead and open up now let's just say my mailbox thing because I'm waiting in line forever. Alright, so mailbox is, is opening up right here, right? Say if I want to lock this. For me, I got it as my volume down button. You can set it to wherever you want once you have it. You get a little pop-up and it said that your app is now going to jail. Or app goes to jail. So if I try to press the home button, like this right here, it doesn't X out. I try to press the power button up here, it doesn't exit out. Even if I press the volume button up or even the volume button down, it doesn't exit out. But if I do want to exit out, you don't make sure you don't tell nobody how to exit out. Those will be pointless. You hold the volume down button for me. That's my high key. I got mine set for the volume down. So when I hold this, watch what happens. It's an app getting out of jail. So now it's out of jail. And I can press the home button and I exit out. All right, how to get this app? You want to get Cydia? Hopefully, you should have Cydia if you have a jailbreaking device. So, open up Cydia. Um, this app, I believe, it is part of the Big Boss repo. So, it comes standard on any jailbroken device. So, you're going to have to add no source or like this. Here's the name of the app right here. It's called Incarsa App. Go ahead and type that into your search at the bottom right. Find it, install it. It's probably going to ask you to restart it and all that. All right, so once you have the app, you got to activate some features in that app. All right, so you have four different things right here, four different categories. You got your global, overrides, control, and documentation, which is like facts and usage and all that. So what you want to do is click on global, and you want to make sure that you check right here home button block in app right here so that allows you or actually it does not allow you to press the home button when you're blocking inside of an app you can set to block all the different types of things right here whatever you want it doesn't really matter this is how mine is set up and then you have the overrides these are different things right here to order override and modify the settings of the app um, right here is my favorite part is the activator you got all different types of ways you can activate your um your lock you either can hold the top bar right here if you want you can do a short hold single hold triple press if you want um you can do pinching the screen if you want to lock your app like that but i ain't risking none of that john i keep it simple just keep it volume down just hold that right there you're good to go but as you see you can pick all different types of ways how you want to activate it or, or don't or whatever how to reactivate in that whatever it's pretty easy so for me i got my eyes check check right here down short hold press and hold down button so I actually can lock this app itself. Go ahead and press down, look, it pops up. So again, as you see, I can't exit out. Pressing it doesn't work. Go ahead and press the volume button on the side. Pops up. Now I can press the home. All right, so uh, hit me in the comments below. Let me know what you think about this app. Let me know if it's something that you would like. Something you don't like. And as always, rate, comment, subscribe.